Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Sayazen. Now, the link to this mod is in the description if you would like to download it. This is a mod that changes the world somewhat. It changes the world map. It actually refines a number of things and makes things much more interesting. It makes the pikemen fully effective as well as making ineffective or should we say inexperienced units route more often. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, welcome to the Sayazen mod for Man of Blade Warband. The land of Karasir, in which this mod takes place, is home to a range of diverse cultures and political systems. Alright, so as you can see, please note that the decisions you make here will affect the start of your game to a much greater extent than in native warband. Choose campaign speed? Ooh, so there you go. Choose how fast you want campaign movement to be. This also affects how quickly factions will get destroyed, and at faster levels, modernization may not occur before the end game. Population decline will also be more drastic. Well, apparently extended is recommended. I suppose we'll, we'll go with the recommendation, shall we? Choose a campaign to start the game with. So we can either start as Queen Shaztavi, or we can start as a Lord, or we can just create our own custom character. I guess we'll just create our own custom character at the moment. There you go. Alright, so, let's, because uh, I'd like to see some of the character creation, you know, options and things. As the game progresses, some factions will become modernized, gradually replacing their traditional pike and shot armies with professional rifle armed forces. You will still be able to recruit both traditional and modern troops from settlements. However, you may wish to keep faction armies essentially the same throughout the game, or even begin the game with all factions modernized. This option cannot be changed mid-game. Alright, so I'm going to say allow modernization. You were born years ago, a young child in the land of Sayazen, because that's the name of the mod. Why not? Your life began in the richest city of Karasir, the impenetrable citadel of Kalahar, Okay, so after this we became what? I'm actually unsure. Mm, yeah, I guess a scholar, why not? Mm, as a young adult, what do we do? Public speaking, why not? But soon everything changed, and we're going to go for personal revenge. Travel to the land of Karas here. Alright, so as is the case, we're going to be Byron. Brian, no. <laughs> Byron Bertilt. He always appears for all the special features, doesn't he? Okay, so let's go for some more intelligence and a little bit more in strength, as I would like to get a lot of pathfinding. Now, what are we going to be using? Seems like we're going to be using a one-handed weapon. There are muskets as well available. We have five in trade skill, which is pretty insane. So that must mean that I should probably go for some more in inventory management. And uh, yeah. we should probably go for one point in prisoner management because as you can see, one point actually gives you 15, which is fantastic. That's really, really good. Also, leadership increases the amount of troops you can command by 30 and reduces troop wages by 10%. So you can imagine that specking into those is going to be much more lucrative. You could even be a slave trader, I would assume. Something like that. Anyway, we're probably going to just improve our Iron Flesh a little bit and Power Strike, just to make sure that we are at least a little bit effective in combat. Alright, so randomize. Let us randomize. Ah, there we go. That seems like a pretty, that seems like a pretty decent Byron. There we go. Alright, you live out your youth in Karasir, a land torn by decade-long wars between military superpowers. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so wh where do we want to go? I actually have no idea. I guess we'll go to Kalahar, because that is the capital city of the Syaznid Empire. So let's do that. Okay, the mighty walls of the great metropolis of Kalahar appear over the horizon an entire day before you reach the gates. Alright. Okay, oh, this is not good. You, oh, oh, okay, so, oh, this is, this is interesting. Could it be a visitor? You peer out of the window only to reel back in surprise when you spot several knives in a pool of blood spilling from the twitching body of a gatehouse keeper. Fearing for your life, you hear the murderer's footsteps coming closer and closer. You try not to panic, clutching the only things on your person that can be improvised as weapons. It's a pineapple. You leap out of bed and try to escape. You stand at your doorway, quivering, 
Perhaps you should go back to bed and leave this turn of events to its own fate. On the other hand, a sense of duty grips you. Somebody's life is in danger. It would be immoral to willingly consign them to their fate. Well, I only have a pineapple, so... Yes. Leave your room and follow the footsteps. Go back to bed? I can actually choose that? Okay. That must just mean go backwards, I suppose, in the character creation process. Oh no, I don't have a shield. I don't have a shield and this guy has... Ooh! Very, 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 very damaging, damaging throne daggers. Oh yes. Wow, that was close. Thank goodness you're okay. It's ill fate you had to get caught up in that. Let's talk more inside. A group of terrified townspeople appear from the houses and take you indoors. Once inside, your rescuer stands by the door for a while. Rescuer? I, 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 I seem to recall that I dispatched the hired assassin. Thank you very much. Oh, well, never mind. All right. Well, everyone's still in shock at how you survived that attack. You act as if you've been in the situation many times before. You're the talk of the town. News of your daring escape reaches far and wide. Oh, interesting. What, 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 what happened? And we're wearing some rather wonderful glasses. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're... Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so I'm just going to get out my bongos real quick. Okay. There was an attempt on the Cyan... Sayers in Shah? Oh, oh, yes. Vashti the Second's life. You just happened to be around when the assailants arrived and perhaps prevented a tragic assassination. The plotters may just be pretenders to the throne, which would be worrying, although it's more likely that a jealous foreign king sought to snuff out our sovereign, which could very well be a lot worse. The locals have organized a militia to deal with these charlatans who are fleeing the city as we speak. But although the town looks to me for leadership, I feel I lack the skills to provide help. If nobody comes forward, the plotters will get away, and then I'll be in real trouble. If the Sayers in Shah, Vashti II, finds out that such a breach of security happened under my watch, I could lose my head. Okay, well... Uh, I could help you. Give me command of the town, and by a son's oath, I'll deal with those responsible. What? I look... Okay, I'll leave as soon as I can and bring these fiends to justice. Oh, Yeah, okay, sure. You didn't give me any money, though, so I'm a bit worried about that. Never mind, apparently I don't need money. Okay, oh, there's the assassins. Okay, so we need to, we need to run after... Oh my, look at this. This is crazy good. Yeah, this is crazy good. Okay, so, first things first, because this is a special feature, we are going to look around... And we're going to make sure that we see absolutely everything that the world map has to offer. I'm just going to go around the outside just to make sure I'm not missing any small islands. That has happened before. There we go. All right. So otherwise, as you can see, we have a wide variety of different places over here. Am I actually, am I, am I looking in the right way, you know, in the right direction? I guess. I mean, this is the north technically, I think. Isn't that the north? I think so. All right, so where are we again? <laughs> Kalasar. We are at Kalasar, uh, Kalahar even. Kalahar, okay. So let's go and chase after the assassins. Okay, so it seems... There's Vashti the second. It seems as though everyone is moving much slower on the world map, which is, of course, due to the extended menu. And that's pretty cool. Okay, can, can you see his jaw moving? Look, his jaw is moving right there. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. We're a group of traders headed to Alhandra. Any news on the roads? Don't act stupid. I know who you are. One of your party had a little encounter with me. What? Come on, everyone, at their throats. Yes. Okay, so there we go. We have encountered assassins. The Battle of Kalahar. All right, so we have 71. They have 31. We do not have any ranged troops, apparently, so I guess we don't have to worry about that. Well, some of us have bows. It seems like we do have a couple of ranged troops. Ah, no, it appears not, because, as you can see, most of them are just pikemen. Ooh, look at that. We have a rather wonderfully big arrow. That's that's quite nice. Because that, that does give me a bit more visibility, I suppose you could say. So I know where my forces are going to be. Anyway, let's charge. tell everyone to charge in here. Charge! Yes! Okay, uh, I'm ready to stab. Stabby. Stab, stab. Yes, take this. Byron is ready to stab you. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have any way of blocking. So, yes, that is a bit of a that is a bit of a problem. 
Seems like, as though everything is going absolutely fine there. I think the main reason why we were okay here is because most of them were using blunt weaponry. And as you can see, most of us were just knocked unconscious. Now, I'm not entirely sure. Can, can I just press... No, I can't just press tab now to finish it because they are routing. So far, I'm actually very much enjoying this. And I feel as though this mod has a lot to offer on top of the usual fare that most mods incorporate. You know, it do, 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 doesn't just have, you know, things like diplomacy and things like that. It has other things on top of it. As well as, of course, a storyline. Actually, quite a quite a good storyline by the looks of things. Alright, so there you go. The battle is over. And you can see there's a bit of a new bit of a new sort of display here. Our forces, we lost five total. Or did we? Yes, we lost five total. Okay, so that's fine. Two personal kills. Ah, you'll never take me alive. I have but one bullet left. Long live the people down with the monarch. He's going to shoot himself, I assume? Yeah, probably. All right, so we have some glasses. Yes. Okay, well, sturdy waistcoat. Yeah, that's a little bit better. No trousers. <laughs> Are you... Are you <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so we could also wear this if we so desire. I mean, that does give me more more head armor, so I suppose I'm going to do that. But I'm not going to be able to see in front of me, I would assume. Okay, so they are now routed. So I have defeated the assassins. We can go and speak to the NPC in the tavern. We can recruit some militiamen from here as well, if we so desire. Okay, so where where is she? She, I assume, is upstairs. Ooh, Caldrum the Tale Teller. Uh, I assume this is a... Yes, this is a bard. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. You defeated them. Did you manage to find out who they were, what they wanted? I need something to report. The last one surviving killed himself. They seem... devoted. In that case, they are exactly who I think they are. Revolutionaries. Get used to them, for these are days of turmoil. Ooh, we've got a thousand? We've got a thousand cash? That is really nice. Karasir is weathering a storm right now, and I suppose you were exposed to one such squall. Get on your way. I believe I've said enough. Here's some money for your troubles. I suppose I owe my life to you. Make your preparations. <laughs> I was thinking maybe you should have something else to say, but a thousand is perfectly acceptable for me. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to just sell everything that I have here. Don't really see a necessity to keep it. I could, literally, I'm going to keep the no trousers just because it's hilarious. Otherwise, let's see. Can I Can I actually use one of these things? Let's, set, let's take a look at some of the weapons available, actually, here. There is a bent desert bow. That's a very, very large bow. Throwing spears. Heavy bar dish. I'd love to be able to use this, to be honest. I would love to be able to use this. So, should I? I don't have enough money to buy it. Unfortunately, I'd love to be able to, but no. Not at the moment, not at the moment. I could get a shield for 187. That's pretty decent. Club's actually not bad either. I mean, it's going to do blunt damage and I'm able to take prisoners. So I think I'm going to buy that. And then we're going to buy this shield. Wait a minute. Yes, I'll buy that shield. Why not? Anything else here? I don't think it's actually worth buying anything else. Let's take a look at the armor. Ooh, look at that. Crude Gasha Jin's Lord Shields, uh, short, Lord's Armor, yes. That is actually really good. And it's only 13,000. I mean, that's pretty cheap for such good armor, so that's nice. All right, so let's go and speak to the Guildmaster. 9,002 people live here, apparently. Okay, so do you have a job for me? Okay. If peace does not come so Okay, well, unfortunately, I do not have any persuasion, fellow, so I will be unable to help you in this regard. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, what about the arena? All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, I, I don't really want to join right now. Yes, there we go, thanks. So, no tournaments? No. T ah, there we go, there we go. Okay, so Ahandra, Elam, and Zayild. Okay... It's probably not going to be anywhere close by. Oh, Zayild! Zayild is very close by. Okay, so it seems like I might be able to do... Oh, apparently I don't have any of the forces that 
Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to recruit my own men then, by the looks of things. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so we can recruit all of them. Thank you. Let's go over to all the villagers here. See what's going on. Okay, so it seems like... I thought we were initially going to start out with all of those, but, uh, well, I, I would expect that the task was the main reason why we were, you know, given those, because we said, oh, give me control of the town and I'll do everything that I can, you know, and so on and so forth. So I suppose that's the reason. Anyway, I think we're actually doing okay so far. I mean, that's the thing. How are we supposed to get experience for our fellows? I guess we just have to find some bandits. There is a tournament here. But I don't really have... I mean, look, look at my look at my stats. It's really not very good. What? Look at this. There's only 20 people in here? Wow, that's crazy. I can imagine that if we were going to start off with many more units, then this would be insane to go for. That would be really cool. Anyway... What I'm going to do is I'm going to assess some local prices right here. Probably going to try and speak to the Guildmaster of Zayild after this. And that is absolutely awful, of course. Great. Okay, so I've not met the Guildmaster yet. So it seems like I am going to get a... Ooh. Whoa. This is pretty cool. Yeah, new scenes. New scenes. That is very nice. I always appreciate new scenes. Now, if only I could find the Guildmaster, it's going to be almost impossible, I assume, because I am great at finding him. Ah, never mind. Okay, so it seems like we found him, at least. Okay, I was looking for a lab. Ah, yes, this is fantastic. I love this particular quest. Unfortunately, he's not giving us a huge amount of money, but I suppose we can't really be too picky at the moment. So... Let's see where we have to go. All right. Malranda. Malranda is over here. Okay, actually not that far away. Maybe along the way we will be able to see a couple of bandits and maybe we'll take them on. I mean, we have a pretty decent amount of prisoner management. Ah, hello there. Okay, so we have 14. They have 5. And look, it actually gives a name to the battle, which I think is really cool. Skirmish at Izir Mir, or whatever it's called. Anyway, let's go and attack. We can get three renowned for this. I'm hopeful that we'll actually be able to knock a bunch of them unconscious so that we can sell them to a ransom broker. I think that would be pretty cool and a good way to make some money. Now, of course, I think what I'm going to be attempting to do here is probably try and become some sort of slave trader guy, maybe something like that, because that seems to possibly be the best way to make money but along the way we're probably gonna just do a little bit of trading as well because obviously I have a huge amount of trade skill so having a huge amount of trade huge amount of prison management that seems like a pretty cool idea to me so there you go that was that was pretty easy wasn't it yeah very easy in fact battle is over three renown not bad there we go and we can capture one of those looters and, ooh, they actually have some rather nice things for us here. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be using any of these. I'm just going to sell them, to be honest. going to use this worn robe, though, because that is much better than what we have. going to sell the rest. There we go. All right. So, Malranda it is. Let us continue heading onward. Hello, looters. It actually makes it a lot easier, I feel, having... Ooh, yeah. Rebel army. Look at look at that huge rebel army right there. But yes, it makes it a little bit easier having the world map speed be relatively slow because then you can be more careful when it comes to encountering people. Of course, if you speed it up like I'm doing, then it kind of turns out to be about the same. But still, it's kind of nice. Okay, so yeah, there's the bandits. Did you see them? You see them before it uh, turned to... Oh my. Before it turned to night? Yes. It seems like this might be a little bit difficult. These are bandits, not just regular looters. So I'm going to go and try and recruit a couple more units here and there. Because we might need them. We might need them. There we go. Alright, so we have about the same as the bandits now. We have 23. I think that should be fine. There are some deserters there. Don't really want to be dealing with those. They're probably going to massacre us. 
All right. No way, you release the girl first. I have no intention to pay you anything. Yeah, there we go. This is exactly why I like this quest, because you get experience, you have the potential of encountering additional bandits along the way, and these guys have muskets. Ah, oh, I'm very pleased about that, aren't I? Hmm, lovely. Lovely, okay, this is probably going to be rather difficult. Right, okay, well, let's just be, let's just be careful. I mean, I'm sure that we'll... <laughs> Are we even going to be able to get to them by the time they have murdered us? Let's see. Let's see whether we can actually survive. We are losing a couple. I suppose once we get to them, then it's going to be most likely that we will be... A oh my. Well, this, this, might, this might end up pretty badly. I mean, how many do I have left? 13? 13 and counting, technically. Okay, I'm going to try and... Okay, okay. So we've gotten into combat with them. I don't know whether we actually have the greater melee skill. That's the thing. Do we? It doesn't look like it. They have kukris by the looks of things. Okay, come on. Take out that guy. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I would like to eliminate that fellow as well. No, I don't have enough athletic skill. Now I'm sad. Oh, well, it seems like we've scattered them. They seem to be routing, actually, which is something I'm very pleased about. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up there. Yes. There we go. We need to take as many of them prisoner as possible. And, it, you, wow, they routed extremely fast. Which I suppose is good, because that means that they... Oh, look. They are now... Oh, yes, they've now sort of reinforced themselves and maybe have gained some morale back, but it seems like most of them are routing, so we just have to deal with the fellows that are a little bit more stubborn. I'm going to try and rush at them as quickly as I can before they reload. Oh, it seems like they're running now as well. Kill him, yes. Well, not kill him, but knock him unconscious. Yep, it seems like they're all routing now. So, that's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool system, because obviously... It seemed like they were going to lose, you know, I mean, I think we maybe would have, maybe would have won? I, I don't know, actually, because they had numbers. They surely had numbers on their side, and as you can see, this fellow isn't exactly the best when it comes to killing things. The provincial conscripts, they're not very good, but, oh well, seemed like their, <laughs> their towering presence on the battlefield was, was good enough. Okay, so yes, come with me, we are going home. Alright, so there's some bandits that I can sell to a ransom broker, and we got some additional things that I can, of course, wear. And is that better? No, it's not really. We're going to be taking all of this, though, because I have a, an amazing trade skill, and that is obviously going to make a huge difference to how much we get. Alright, so, yeah, look at that. We routed 16 enemies. Pretty fantastic. Alright, well, there you go. That is going to be the end of, of this special feature. If you want to see more, then by all means, let me know. And the link to download the mod is in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.